We're heading out on another gold prospecting adventure. Appalachian Prospectors. What do you do in the winter time when there's too much snow on the ground and you can't get in the river or in the spring when there is snow melt and the river is up too high? Well, you pan some concentrates, of course. Hello everyone, Appalachian Prospectors here, Prospector Jack and... Hillbilly John. What are we doing here today, Hillbilly John? Well, uh, we're going to do a review today. Um, a friend of ours named Norman sent us a gold pay dirt bag. Yep. So. And Norman, his name is Norman Waite, he is selling these bags, two pound bags on eBay. And uh, it's a two pound bag from Maine. And there's also a half a gram of gold added to make sure there's definitely something in there. So uh, he gets 45 bucks a bag, plus $8 shipping, if you do order it off of eBay. And uh, hopefully I can be able to provide a link down below, which I'll have to find later and just put it down below and that's where you can find it uh, if not you just search them up on eBay Norman Waite and uh, so we're gonna pan this down and see what we get now Norman is a friend of ours that we met during the uh, freedom dig and uh, yeah he lives he's originally from way up in Maine up by Millinocket somewhere but now he lives down a little further downstate so uh, We'll see what we got here. So we'll uh, open her up and uh, I'll screen it down. And we'll start panning. Because as you can see right now, we can't get out on the river. It's way too high. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> and I also wanted to add this here that um, you know, gold concentrates are never really a good investment. If you're looking to invest in gold, concentrates is not necessarily the way to go. If you are looking for an investment, then you need to buy gold off an exchange such as uh, Appmex or something like that. But, uh, you know, this is for educational purposes or for entertainment. You know, when we have gold fever real bad in the wintertime or, you know, like you can't in the spring get on the right river. now. Right, you so. can't get on the river. Your gold fever's nagging at you. You gotta do something and this is the perfect prescription. So, uh, you know, and that's why we do it. You know, uh, for educational purposes, you'll wanna do it to fine tune your skills at gold panning and get ready for the coming uh, coming season. As we're coming into the season now, you know, I've been seeing the geese flying back and that tells me one thing, gold season is almost upon us. Yes, you know, it is. we've been hitting some nice days where it's 60 degrees and you know, we just wanna get out on the river. But since we can't, we're gonna do us some gold concentrates today. So uh, stay tuned. Yep. All right, All right, so. Jack, go ahead and start doing it. All right, I'm gonna screen it down first and uh, We'll see what we get. I'll open her up. I like his packaging. Can you get right in the center now, Johnny? Yeah, Norman did a real good job on the packaging. Yeah. It's all vacuum sealed up. I like that. And uh, see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Part right in the screen first. I'll just do some of it at first. Screen her down. <laughs> A little dusty. Let's see if we get any any gold in there. I don't see any big nuggets or big pickers. It won't fit through the screen. Pretty good there. All right, now dump the rest in there. Put that bag under there so it don't blow away. A little, little breezy out today. Oh yeah, well here comes a big gust of wind. Hopefully that don't interfere with our audio. Okay, I see no pickers. Uh, 
All right, let me roll up my sleeves here. A lot of magnetite in there. We want to uh, really stratify this good. You know, she's traveled down through the mail and bounced around. This button here turns it on, right, John? Yep, top one. Oh yeah, lots and lots of magnetite in there. At the end, we'll try and get a weight on it. Hopefully, uh, this scale can weigh that small amount. All right. All right. There we go. And away the concentrates. I'm seeing a lot of magnetite there. Let's get some all ready for the season, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna really wet my appetite. <laughs> wet my appetite for the gold. Just lightly pull them uh, lighter sands off the top. Bring her back down. Stratify again. Rinse and repeat and continue that until you get down to, a, oh, about a table, tablespoon of, of concentrate. And this season coming up, we're going to have a lot more adventure this year. We've got a lot of new uh, cameras and a new drone. Oh, yeah. Take some drone. overhead footage. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring some stuff to you live this season. Yeah, we want to be able to do some live videos right on the river. Have some campfire chat so you can watch us pan our uh, day's haul down live. Hopefully couple times anyway kind of hard to get reception way out there in the woods but we'll have to see what we can do all right get her down there getting her down I think I'm gonna switch over to this uh, are you getting down to the heavy heavies yeah see a lot of black. Pan there is a lot of black sand in there and I'm gonna switch over to this other pan with the finer, finer riffles. Yep. Lots of magnetite in there. Okay, I'm gonna set that right over there. Okay. Pull it off nice and lightly so you don't lose nothing. Boy, that's a heavy pan. That's taking some work to clear it down, too. Oh, yeah, it is. Some white rocks in there. Pull them blonde sands right off. Bring her back down. Stratify again. Yeah, me and Jack like to do a lot of the reviews, too, because once we find equipment that works, uh, you know, we like to share it with our viewers, you know. Lots and lots of magnetite. Would be a good time to use the old gold magnet so I'm gonna do that we got one right here and uh, you want to put it in the green pan John yeah I'm gonna put it right in the green pan bring it over to your right side so you can get it 
how's that? Oh yeah, good. You can see oh, all yeah. that magnetite on there. Yeah. Lots of magnetite. Which I'll pan that afterwards too. Make sure we didn't get any any gold in there with that. Let me just kind of uh, shake her up a bit. Plenty Ooh. magnetite there. Another big load of magnetite. Another big load. Do a little more panning down here. Rinse that off. See some little garnets in there. How about lighten the pan up a little bit, oh, huh? Yeah. That lighten a little bit. Still a good deal in there. Let me hit her again. Yeah, another big load of it. More. Not so much now. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that off again. Put that right there. Getting down to the nitties now. Getting down to the ripples now. You want to pull her out nice and gently. Still a lot of black sands in there. to see what the way the sun is for me where I'm standing yeah the sun's behind you today yeah it's kind of blinding me off the water Starting to see some gold, some nice fine pieces. Yeah, I take it right down to about a teaspoon or so. Probably a little less than that. One thing we didn't put in here was some jet dry. Uh, 
that definitely helps you keep the gold in in the uh, in the pan because it uh, breaks the surface tension on the water so we're running it without today I mean you can do it but uh, when you're just learning it's always a good idea to have some of that jet dry in there or maybe even some dish detergent something will make uh, some bubbles but you don't want a lot in there just just a little tiny bit okay I'm seeing gold can you see that yeah right there right Look at that there gold's got a real good close-up all right there it is so I'll start swirling her Let's see let me get it all into this one little pocket here Oh yeah, there's gold on both sides. You can see here. Oh, yeah. see, it's starting to oh, float. Starting see? to float. Yeah. If we had to jet dry, that wouldn't happen so easily. Yeah, got gold on both sides there. There she be. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is get rid of some of this material. Oh, there's a piece of gold right there. Let's get that back up in here. Okay, I got it. I'm going to get rid of this just to get it out of the way. Make sure there ain't no gold in it. Yep, there's a couple pieces of fine gold there. I'll pull that back down and hop out of there. It's always the hard part, getting it separated from the magnetite. Now I gotta be really gentle here, pulling that out of there, and I gotta do it where I can see it. Gotta be very gentle since I don't have any jet dry in here. Yeah, if it starts floating, you just give the pan a little tap. It'll drop right back down to the bottom. Okay, let's get uh, we'll get a little more water in there. I'll start snuffing up some of it. Probably have to re-clean it up again. So I know I'm going to get black sands mixed in there so I can't really see it in the black pan but that's all right we'll dump this in the green pan afterwards and separate the black sand from it it's looking good looking real good And you had fun doing it. Oh, yeah. What a way. Nothing like doing a little gold with a review. That's right. <laughs> okay, I got some more there to suck her out. That was a nice little line. Yeah, nice little smile there. Starting to look pretty, pretty bare now. Getting down to the last. There's another one over here, another couple. piece left. I'll just pull that right on over there and I'll suck her right up. Yeah, got her right out of the black sands. There you go. Got it? 
Got it. Let me see here. Okay, looks like I got it all out of there. Let me uh, just, I want to check this, what we separated, make sure there was no gold in that. The, cons uh, the uh, magnetite that we separated, make sure that we didn't trap any gold. Do see one piece in there. Spot one in there that got trapped in the black sands. Yeah. yeah. Which happens sometimes. Okay, now let me swirl around, see what we got here. Yeah, there's a couple pieces in there. There's a few pieces in there. See it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's more. Than a, there's more than a few. There's yeah, especially four. with this fine gold. Four or five of them. You know. Well, this bag has been challenging, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a good bag yeah. to really learn with because, or, or to uh, sharpen your skills, because it's not easy getting that fine stuff out, but you get it. You know, you're definitely going to get it on the stream. Yeah, and the uh, gold pay dirt bags are good for people that also can't get out to the stream. That's right. Because everybody can't, you know, always get out to the stream. So it's one way, that, you know, that they can get gold to their home and, and do it. Do. Now that's some fine main gold. Yes, sir. And it looks like I got it all. There you go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is dump this in here and clean it up even more because I got a good deal of uh, magnetite in there. So I'm just going to dump that in there. Nice little amount of gold in there. Still a good deal in there. Yes, there is. Like you said, you're getting your work out today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just get me tuned up for the season coming up you know really uh, makes me want to get out there and get some gold this is natural gold from Maine see I keep swirling that around and I keep seeing more I think I might have it though. I'm not seeing it anymore. Okay. Oh, you got her. Okay, so we weighed up the gold and we have 0.495 grams. 
0.490, somewhere in there. So almost a half a gram. I think I got it all, didn't I? Okay, so there's the gold. And it's uh, looking good. Come around this way, uh, the shadow. Get a view of it.